to walk into these 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 rehab places, these people doing these little, you know, squeezing the ball thing, and I like I turned around, and walked out, and I never even did any physical therapy. For me, that was just that wasn't enough. That was like dying. Yeah, it was like dying. Yeah, it was, and I felt like I was dying inside. I needed a I needed a punch in the mouth, you know, and. And Mount Everest was that punch in the mouth? Mount Everest was that punch in the mouth. I've never served, so this is my way of serving those who have served us. He says the experience got him off his pain pills and back on his feet. He became convinced it could do the same for injured war veterans. So he created what he calls the Heroes Project. The Heroes Project is a nonprofit and designed to help wounded veterans rediscover their sense of strength and pride. The 30-year-old Marine, a member of a bomb disposal unit, was badly injured in 2011 while in Afghanistan. The pain in his right leg was so severe, he asked doctors to amputate it. I pushed my body to uh, the ultimate extreme and came out victorious, and so that's confidence that I get to carry with myself forever. They put the tourniquets on my legs and saved my life. Uh, you know, I asked Dan, I was like, hey man, are my legs gone? You know, and he's like, yeah, they're gone. You know, it's just like, you know, that's the finality of it. Like, that's war. Two of my closest friends, I, I hiked their, their dog tags, uh, the identification tags that we all wear in the military, uh, up the mountain with me. I, mean, I guess sum it up just from this one moment. I just watched Mark get out of position and pass this team. I hear this German couple say, we just got passed by a man with no legs. We need to move faster right now. <laughs> it's changed my perception on life, and it's also helped me see that there's no real limit to what anyone can really do. The whole movement that has become bigger than Tim Medvitz, and it's become bigger than Charlie Lindo. And all of a sudden you turn on your TV, and here's a guy with one leg climbing Everest. If that don't get you off your butt, take back your life. I don't know what it is.